Hey guys, so we have our JBL Link 20 wireless Bluetooth speaker. And even though everybody loves using it, usually what happens is that nobody thinks of plugging it back in to charge. And that is why in this video we want to show you how to add the wireless charging option to this speaker to make the charging process a little bit easier. And the entire process is actually really easy. All we need to do is install one of these wireless charging coils at the bottom of the speaker in order to receive its charge wirelessly. And the way that this works is that we do have a transmitter coil like this one, which we in this case simply connect via USB uh, to get the 5 volt input. And this goes into the emitter coil. And then we do have the receiving coil, which we are going to install into our Link 20 speaker, just like this here on the bottom. And then as soon as we get close with this coil, with the receiving coil really close to the emitting coil, then it is going to pick up the charge. And you can actually see this right now on this little LED here on the small PCB on this board, the LED lights up. And that indicates that we are receiving a charge. Okay, so now let's get started with installing the wireless charging coil into our speaker. And we're going to do this by opening up the uh, bottom of the speaker. So here we have this little rubber mat, this little uh, rubber patch uh, that's glued onto the bottom. And we're going to use just a simple screwdriver to uh, remove this. You can just kind of wedge this in on the side. And it's going to be a little bit uh, harder for you if you haven't done this before. I've previously removed this uh, rubber piece before so this is rather easy for me right now for you it may actually be quite sticky then right underneath there we're going to see a whole bunch of small phillips screws and we are going to remove the four in the corner here those the bigger ones so those four we're going to remove and the ones the other six screws that are holding down those little covers we're going to leave those in place we're not going to have to open those at all now once we have removed all the screws we want to open up the plastic cover on the bottom and we want to do this really really carefully because there's a whole bunch of fragile uh, cables connected between the uh, speaker and then the bottom. Uh, first we have here the power cable so this is these, uh, this one connector the blue connector we can easily detach this one but then there's also these two really fragile ribbon cables and you have to be careful removing those. What we have to do here is just to flip up those little gray or dark levers here on those connectors. So that's all you have to do to uh, unlock the uh, ribbon cables. Then we can really easily pull those two out. Now that we already have the bottom cover isolated, now we can start to install our coil. And the only tricky part here is that we have the big coil on the outside of the speaker. And then we have the uh, converter here, this little PCB that's attached to the coil. This has to go to the inside of the speaker because there's not really enough space for that PCB on the outside. So what I decided to do is create just a really big hole here in the plastic in order to push the entire PCB through. Alternatively, you can also just create a small hole and then unsolder uh, the uh, coil from the small PCB and then feed the two wires through and then solder it back on. Well, either way works. In case you're trying to keep your speaker waterproof, that's probably a good idea to use uh, just a small hole, which will be easier to plug up later on. But in my case, it doesn't matter if this speaker is still waterproof, so I'm just going to create a really big hole, which is big enough for this entire PCB to go through. And that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm feeding the wires and the PCB through here. And then the big coil, the receiving coil is going to be on the outside. And then on the inside, we find the original black and black wire for the uh, power supply. So this comes from the micro USB port. And all we have to do is splice these wires together. And since the small PCB is still going to float around inside of the speaker, kind of uncontrolled, I'm going to wrap this in some electrical tape to prevent it from contacting any other components. And at this point, we can already start to reassemble everything starting out by reattaching those two small ribbon cables. So there's a slightly a larger, wider ribbon cable that goes to the left. So we're just going to stick this into the connector and then pull down on the lever. And then the slightly uh, slimmer one that goes to the right. And we're going to do the same thing here as well. 
Now don't get frustrated if it takes you a while to get those ribbon cables in there and secured. It is normal that these kind of tend to slip out or don't want to go in at all. And then of course we don't want to forget the last connector here for the power, the blue connector that goes in all the way on the right. Make sure that it really is stuck in there. And then we're ready to uh, put the cover back on. So we're going to close up the speaker again. Make sure that you see that little Wi-Fi symbol right underneath the uh, JBL logo. Then you have the orientation correct. And then of course we have the four small Phillips screws. We're going to attach those now as well. And then the final step is to reattach the small rubber piece on the bottom. So I'm going to use here some uh, hot glue first to attach the coil to the bottom of the speaker and then I'm going to use some hot glue to go all around the uh, plastic here on the bottom. And then before uh, we attach, reattach the rubber piece, you have to look for this little cutout that you see on that rubber piece. So on the, on the, oops, on the bottom end, that's where this little cutout is. And that cutout needs to be lined up with this little notch that you see on the bottom of the plastic. So we're going to press this on firmly. And then it is already time to test out our wireless charging option. So first let me get the emitter coil into position and powered up. So I'm going to plug this into this USB port. And then as soon as we dim the light a little bit so that we can see the charging LEDs properly in the video, and we're getting the uh, speaker positioned right on top of that coil. And as you can see, the speaker is now charging successfully. And in case you're wondering, the wireless charging coils that we are using in this video are capable to charge with up to 2 amps. Okay, so this was already it for this video. I hope you found the information helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.